Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use list box with your Visual Basic Windows Form application. And this is going to be a very beginner level uh, uh, tutorial. So I will uh, show you how to use list box, how to add items in the list box, how to select item in the list box and some other things. So let's get started. Uh, let's take a list box from our toolbox and place it here and just resize it and second thing I'm going to take is a button and a text box okay so I have all the things and I'm not going to change the name of the text box I think by now you know how to change the text box of the tools I'm just going to take change the text of this button and I will say this is my add button and whatever I enter in the text box it should go into this list box when I press this button so let's double click this and I will write list box 1 which is the name of my list box and then dot and I will say items dot add and what I need to add the text in the text box right so this is the name of my text box which is text box 1 dot text right so let's run our program first and I add some name in the text box and I will say add it's added to the list box once again I will add a name to the text box and it's added to the list box when I click add button okay so like this you could be able to add items to the list box now let me just show you how you can select an item from the list box so when you select this list box and go to the event here there are some event which you can perform for using this list box so for example I'm going to use very basic uh, or inherent um, event of this list box just select it and double click it and when you double click it it shows list box selected index change uh, event and you will be able to see here in the event in the properties just click this button here for events and you will see here you will be able to see this list box selected index change event here there is a text present here so by this you know that this index is selected okay so just double click it and here I will say message box dot show and in the bracket I'm going to show whatever is there in the list box so I will copy list box dot selected item okay and dot to string okay so whatever I select in the list box it should show in the message box so let's try and run the program let's just add some items in the list box okay so I have this three items and when I select some item here you see here it shows it, the same name in the message box so in this way you can select items in the list box right 
and one more thing is called selected index of the list box so index is something like i will just explain you what is it first of all just write list box one dot selected index from here okay and just run your program once again i will add some text here once again some text and some some text and when you now click this list box for example when you click this first uh, item in the list it say, says this is the zeroth index okay so index start from zero then this is one and then this is two so index is uh, the numbering you can say for uh, the list box and numbering start from zero so this also is very helpful when you are going to use list box in your future projects and there are many things for you which you can do with your list box like uh, adding the database values to the list box and and many things uh, which are little bit more detailed or, and little bit advanced this also i will show you when i will show you how to connect uh, your visual basics application with database like mysql or some other databases but for now i think this is uh, it for this video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now